Hey everybody, it's Jason here with my beautiful blue tegu, Angel. Right now she's currently in the process of brumation. Um, kind of hiding out. There she is. I don't know if you can see her tail at all sticking out of that black corticated pipe. She happens to like that, so I decided to put it in her enclosure. She uh, she used, used to crawl in the downspout outside, which is a black corrugated pipe. And that's what gave me the idea to put it in her enclosure. She loves it. So um, I set up her enclosure like this. I'm working on trying to find some decent branches to put in there. Um, I added some rocks to her pond today. I don't know if you can see them or not. Uh, but you give it a little bit of extra color, new accents, and that kind of stuff. Um, she hasn't quite noticed it yet. But that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because, well, guess what? Finally got my new addition. Wanted something different. Now, Angel, I love Angel to death. She's my baby. It's my second tegu. My first one actually died. It was a gold tegu. It was a wild caught um, or a wild hatch. And I don't know if I explained this in the previous videos or not, but it um, it had a bad intestinal parasite or something like that. I don't remember. It was an it was an intestinal parasite. I don't remember what kind it was, but I didn't catch it in time. And by the time the vet actually got back to me with what it was um she literally died the next day i picked up the medicine brought came back home gave her the medicine and then that very next day she was dead and i was floored um that was you know probably i don't know two years ago maybe um i've had angel for about a year now um she's been to the vet twice Every single time she's been extremely healthy. I have yet to have any problems with her. Once again, underground reptiles, I want to give you all a shout. You guys are awesome. Um, but anyway, I've been thinking about um, something different. Well, obviously I wanted to get another Tegu. I don't specifically want to breed mine. I mean, I've thought about it maybe. Um tossing around the idea of possibly coming up with something what I would call it like a blue giant um, which would be something large like the Chicoans but looks like a blue tegu you know um, considering that the blues are some of the smaller of the tegus I mean normally range about three and a half feet or so um, at full grown Angel right now she's a year old she's about three and a half feet now my opinion, she's pretty big for her age, but I don't know. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to. Anyway, um, reason I'm making this video, I keep getting sidetracked. Found something different. I thought it would be so cool if I could find a black tegu. All black tegu. Well, I happened to meet this guy. He's been coming up with uh, this line. He's calling them High Blacks. And I have seen his mail, and apparently he's had quite a few clutches that look very similar, but around two years of age, they start getting um, this all black. And they every time they shed, they get more and more black. So I decided to contact him. Guy was awesome. He was awesome. Almost as awesome as Underground Reptiles in the way of his customer service and just hands-on approach. So, I bought one. He came in, and this is a male now. He came in this past Thursday. He was shipped Wednesday. He came this past Thursday. And, here he is. He is gorgeous. I'm naming him Demon. So, I have Angel and Demon right there. He's 
a little skittish right off the bat. The first day he came in, which was Thursday, he was uh, really timid. And, well, not necessarily timid, but he was really chill. Um, but I attribute a lot of that to the fact that he was, he was cold. Well, I mean, let's just face it. It's November, and we're having an unusually cold, win uh, cold November. I mean, it's like it went from summer straight to winter. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. I'm here in Maryland, and yeah, it was terrible. Anyway, so I immediately um, started working on uh, getting him warm. I didn't even bother setting up his enclosure yet. I threw him in a five-gallon um, aquarium, um, put a heat lamp on it and some UV on it, and was like, here you go. I'll set up your, um, your enclosure tomorrow, which his enclosure that he's in right now is Angel's old enclosure. Um, which is probably a little big for, for him. They always recommend putting them in like a 20 gallon long or something like that. But you know what? He's going to be in here for a little while. I don't want to keep jumping him around. You know, he's going to be in here until I build him another enclosure, kind of like I did with Angel. Um, you know, her beautiful, almost forever enclosure. So anyway, um, this is a good, you know, Beginner enclosure. Well, not necessarily beginner enclosure, but um, young animal enclosure. I originally had built it for a snake, but it works great for a young tegu. So anyway, um, and Friday, he came in on Thursday. Yeah, Friday, I went ahead and set up this enclosure with the, uh, you know, um, the substrate and everything like that. The heat, the big heat, nice big heat lamp. One side of the tank is, one side of the enclosure is at 90, about 95 degrees. The other side is about 74. So, I mean, it's got a good hot side, a good cold side. Well, no, I'm sorry, 77. He's got a good hide. Well, he's got plenty of substrate down in the bottom, about two and a half inches, so he can dig. Everything's perfect. The only thing is, I'd like him to have some stuff to climb if he wants, which... I took out, actually, because I had a snake in there up until I got him. So, anyway, um, this video is just to introduce Demon, my new high black tegu. <clears throat> and um, I thought it was appropriate, especially considering that he's a high black. I got Angel and Demon. Remember the movie Angels and Demons? Kind of works together, you know, that kind of stuff. I think it's cool. I think it's creative. And I can't wait to introduce you to um, his progress. Um, I'm going to start up a, a new YouTube page for Demon himself. Um, or maybe I'll just continue it with Angel and with Demon and just, you know, um, you know, combine the two. It'll probably be easier that way, you know. I'm not in this for fame. I'm just in this for progress, for comments, for, um, you know, information, uh, giving people information, receiving information from other people, um, and that kind of jazz, you know, that's all. So once again, I appreciate everybody for their questions, for their comments, for their, um, support on my page and everything like that. Um, and, uh, you know, if there's any information I can give you or you can give me, I thoroughly appreciate, every bleh, appreciate everything. So, once again, <sighs> there he is, Demon, my new high black male Tegu. He's only a couple, I don't know, I'd have to say maybe a month, maybe two months old. I'm not sure. I, I haven't quite asked the people when he hatched. But there he is. Absolutely gorgeous. Right now he's sunning him, or soaking himself underneath of the heat. There's his heat lamp, which I should probably block off because he's having a tendency to climb up behind it. I don't want him to burn himself. And there's his UV. More than enough for this enclosure, especially with the height. 
but everything seems to be working out beautifully. It worked out great for my last Tegu for Angel. And um, I expect the same results on this one. So, there's that. Once again, here's Angel's enclosure. Everybody remembers the glow in the dark waterfall. There it is. With her new rocks. I figured those like bright colors in there would look pretty cool at night with the uh, waterfall glowing in the dark. Angel over there and her uh, corrugated pipe and everything. It's a big darn enclosure. She loves it in there though. Everybody, thanks again for watching. I look forward to talking to you all soon.